actually. We are here to teach you about respirations and demonstrate how to count them. One inhalation and one expiration is considered a respiration, which is one breath in and one breath out. With respirations, we are looking for equal rise and fall of the chest. Another way to feel for respirations is that you could place a finger under the patient's nose to feel for breaths. When obtaining a patient's respirations, you want to make sure you are not staring right at them, counting their breaths. Patients tend to start breathing in a different pattern if they know what you're looking for. One way to obtain the respirations is to count their respirations while you obtain their pulse. When counting respirations, you can count them for 30 seconds and times it by two. A few things you're looking for in respirations is quality and rhythm. Quality means, is the patient breathing normal, labored, which is a struggle to breathe, shallow or noisy? Rhythm means, is it regular or irregular? Is it a constant beat or does it skip beats? Keep in mind that normal respirations for the average adult are 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Normal respirations for a newborn is 30 to 60 breaths per minute. You now know how to count respirations.